He's probably by far the best chance of out there. He knows everything. He knows all the weaknesses. There's no point in him out to you until you what you need to do to get yourself better in this amount of time. And uh, I've been working on him for a little over two months now. And I feel that I became a better player and a better person at that. He told me that you missed steps about your own. A lot of people don't realize how hard you go. How do you feel that? Too? I feel that, um, cause I'm, cause I always have a smile on my face, and I feel that some people see me like, all right, he's too happy all the time, he's not really serious, but that's just the person I am. I play serious all the time, I always have a smile on my face, and um, I'm about to want to like beat on my chest and like roar and make noises like that to, to show like my feelings. Basketball is a game, game, but it's like poker. If you don't show your face, like how you feel at that certain times, so I always smile, and you never know how I feel. So I guess some people just kind of you know really see it. Did you have the kind of freshman year you, you were hoping to? Uh, I mean, as a team, we didn't uh, meet some of the goals that we set for ourselves. And, um, for me personally, some of the goals I set for myself, I believe as well. And um, I feel that we could have did a lot more things better. And um, we just kind of had a tough season with some of the things that happened to us throughout the season with myself, Ryan Bolt, right, and Coach as well. We didn't really have a chance to really gel as well as much as other teams could have. So we uh, had a lot of players sit out, coaches gone for a little over a month. And um, it was kind of hard for us to transition into each other. What do you wish people would have a chance to see about your game? I didn't want it was just one year. That um, I'm able to put the ball on the floor and be my friend off the, off the dribble and I can shoot the 15 for the yeah. Andre, how close were you to staying for your sophomore year? Uh, I, was, I was pretty close. Very, very close to staying. But um, again, I had a meeting with my family and we all decided that it'd be best for me to uh, take the next step. Being a big man, you're going to be a baby going into the event 18. Yeah. You need a lot of grown men. Are you ready for that kind of physical pounding right away? Absolutely. Maybe to my advantage, because I'm an old man, so I'm kind of quick on my feet. <laughs> 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 and, um, I mean, I think I'm ready. It's going to be a great experience for me. I'm not nervous or scared at all. It's just uh, the next day for another thing I need to take forward. I'm taking a stride. What do you think the main questions teams have about you are? When you get sort of feedback from them and you work out from them, what, what do you think I haven't worked out with a team yet, so there was no feedback to be said. Do you have any interviews yet? Uh, not yet. I might have one in a little bit, 355. Who's that one? My first one is with Washington. And how many more you got today? Four. Okay. That's a lot of talking about yourself. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I could go on forever. Yeah. <laughs> Who, who would you compare yourself to? A lot of people say you have like, white guy with type of person, white type of person. I mean, I don't really compare myself to anybody. I compare myself to either. I'm not really trying to model my game after anybody. I'm trying to create my own brand and my own mold as a person. I want to be like the next person. I want to be like myself and do things differently. Does it bother you with your guys' question, your motor, your motivation? Well, I just answered that question a while ago. I said, um, for me, it's just like uh, I smile all the time. I play, play the game of basketball because I enjoy the game. I love the game. And um, I just never show signs of being mad or upset or anything like that. I always have a smile on my face. And uh, I guess some people don't really see that. They, I guess they want to see me like, be angry, like show emotion all the time. But that's just not true. I'm not really beating my chest. I don't like yelling or anything. I'm just more of a happy person. I love playing the game of basketball. Andre, a lot of people feel like it will take you a few years to come into your own and, and that the that project label gets put on you. Do you agree with that at all or do you feel like you come in next year and make an impact? All I can tell you is that whatever team I get drafted to and whoever I'm with, that I'm going to work my hardest. I'm going to do the best that I could. It's the best of my ability. And um, I can't dictate the future of what I'm going to do. All I know is I'm going to go out there and give it my all. What do you say is your biggest weakness right now? Um, my offensive game, I don't have a back to the basket game, honestly speaking. Um, that's one of the things I've been working on for the past two months, and I actually have built a back to the basket game. I have a lot of moves, ISO moves to myself that I've been working on. Who have you been working with? You're done. Excuse me? You're done. Oh, okay. What, what, um, do you see yourself as a five in the league? Do you see, like, one of, where you want to play? I see myself as a basketball player. Wherever the coach puts me, it's where I can work my hardest. Work hard anywhere. So you don't really have a position? Where one place is going to tell you.